Another question that casts doubts on this belligerence um, viewpoint is to ask, well, why did modern science uh, grow up in the West where essentially Christian uh, thinking held sway? I mean, there were comparable civilizations, civilizations of comparable uh, prosperity, stability, and in many cases, technological advancement in China, Japan, India, and so forth. Uh, why didn't they develop science as we now know it? It's acknowledged, after all, that in, in Arabic countries, uh, the, around the end of the first millennium, they were actually more advanced in mathematics uh, than was Europe. And in fact, their libraries kept safe in the end, for Christendom, uh, much of the wisdom of the ancients, uh, of the ancient Greek uh, sciences. Um, but why did that Arabic knowledge not uh, blossom into modern science? And a, a quite interesting and I think quite plausible case has been made by several um, writers, notably Stanley Jackie, that uh, in fact, far from being an atmosphere stifling to science. The Christian worldview of the West has been the fertile cultural and philosophical soil in which science grew and flourished. And so Jackie argues that it was precisely the theology of Christianity which created that fertile intellectual environment. For example, the Bible teaches that the world is a free contingent creation of a rational creator, that God had free choices about uh, how the world was going to be. And that teaching implies that the world can't be understood by simply, you know, um, sitting down and thinking about it, um, sort of, sort of uh, theoretical philosophy, the way that uh, many of the Greeks thought that it could. We need to do experiments to find out how God actually did choose to make the world. Um, and the experiments are the foundation of modern science. The Bible teaches that God declared the creation uh, is good. Uh, that uh, it's worthy, therefore, of detailed study and investigation on its own merits. The Bible teaches that the creation, uh, the world, is not itself God, um, and that permits Christians to investigate the physical and biological universe without fear of uh, violating the divine. The Bible teaches that humans have been given a degree of authority and responsibility over creation, and therefore, it's permissible to pro probe its secrets, provided we're truly acting as stewards of it and respecting God's creatures. The Bible teaches that rationality is, in humans, in the image of the Creator. And this gives encouragement and the expectation that we will actually be capable of understanding, uh, at least partially, uh, the work of creation. And these are all uh, theological, as well as philosophical, uh, encouragements to the work of empirical science. And when intermingled with the desire uh, to benefit humankind uh, through this useful knowledge and um, enabled by the printing press uh, to be uh, conveyed to others, the modern science gained momentum and, and, and eventually became what we know it to be today. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.